Don't mind the roll of toilet paper sitting there that I've used to blow my nose, but Wednesday's video is exporting. So by the time I upload this Friday or Saturday, whenever you see it, um, if you haven't watched quite upper, if you haven't watched um, my latest video on the main channel, you should go over and watch it. It's about why just being um, a normal tech YouTuber isn't enough anymore. You know, it's not enough just to say, oh, this is my name. I'm reviewing the Galaxy Note 5. Here's the specs, RAM, processor, camera, um, top of the line, the best ever, um, cutting edge software, it makes a great phone, the end of the video. That's not enough anymore. That might have passed when tech reviewing was still a new thing and there wasn't a ton of people doing it, but now there's a new reviewer every 10 seconds and you gotta make yourself stand out from the crowd. So I just basically gave you the TLDR version of an almost eight minute video. But you should still go watch it because I cover a lot more points and uh, some parts, you know, there's some good advice in there about um, making a channel, even if it's not tech related, about just being unique and creating your own genre and making something that nobody's seen before. Because um, that's easier to get, it's easier to get noticed doing something that nobody's done before than it is to do something that everybody's seen. And I wish I would have said that exact phrase that I just said in that video because it would have been good. Um, but it's a Wednesday, summer's not here. Uh, she is at work, and so I'm doing some dishes, gonna clean up the living room here a little bit, um, work on some thank you cards and from the wedding a year and a half ago. Still sending those cards out, but we're almost we're on the home stretch of them all, uh, getting them all sent out. Um, G7X should be here. You will see it um, probably as this, the second half of this vlog, and we'll do some comparisons in this vlog, but I am pumped about that, that's for sure. Um, so, yeah, hashtag get pumped, get hyped. Okay, we're ready. Package has arrived. We got to eat quick. Worship team practice. I'm gonna open this thing up. We're gonna do it on camera. That way, if there's anything terrible, we have it on camera. This is like really loose. Like I wasn't really thrilled about how loose this uh, box was inside of here, but whatever, I won't complain that much. Um, at least they had some kind of deflated packaging. That's a packaging slip. You don't need to see that. And then inside this box, looks like we might have a camera. All right, well, we got the book. Very good. Um, oh, in 15 different languages. Oh, you gotta focus. Nope, not on the right thing. There you go. Um, we got the camera in a bag there. Um, we got our lanyard, which seems to be sealed. We got a battery. Good, we have all the stuff here. We have the battery brick charger, good. We have the charging cable for the battery brick and then we have another lanyard it seems. And then we have the camera. So let's open this thing up. Now this said it was like new condition so we're about to find out you guys. Okay, it's really cold. I looked up to see if it was okay for cameras to be left in the cold because I don't know if it like damages them or not. But this is like a heavy camera. So. Here we go. No scratches on the screen. Good. Doesn't look to be uh, dinged up anyway. I'm going to take a closer look at it after this. But uh, let's pop the battery in. We're going to turn this guy on. I hate the lighting out here so much. Okay, we focused? Yeah, here we go. Oh, we got action. Oh, I got to set the day and time. It's what I thought. The lens is real fogged up. Um, yeah, you can tell from being out in the cold. So hopefully there's no condensation in here. It can dry up and it goes well. Battery's almost dead anyways. But hey, at least it works. First video test with the G7X. Nice and foggy. This was what I was worried about. It being outside for like three hours. And like my other Canon did that before. I was sitting beside the window and it got really cold, but it like it defrosted or whatever. I just don't want condensation to get inside the lens, but it was inside of a bag, which was inside of a box. So it should be fine, but I'll just pray that it just doesn't get wet inside because that's the last thing we need. Why am I talking when you guys can't even see me? Oh, you guys. I'm looking at the viewfinder. I could see detail on my face. You know, the other camera shot in 1080p, but this is a much cleaner 1080p. Now, I'm not probably going to have the flip screen up because this has a flip screen where you can um, watch the viewfinder to see what's in frame. I can just use it for reference every now and then. But... I just feel like it looks like a lot better picture. I didn't even mess with any settings or anything, so I don't even know what I'm recording in. 
but I'm in focus, um, and the color balance isn't too bad, but we're hopefully going to go to Walmart tonight and uh, get some new lights, but um, so far, really happy, and you guys can see the transition from the old vlog camera to this one. I'm sure there is quite a difference. I mean, right now, I'm sitting on the couch, um, and I'm 17 times zoomed, and these Yoshimi Bo don't look too bad. Obviously, if I shake, wow. The optic image stabilization is like so-so. Like you can see it jerking, but pretty good. Summer, you look excellent as well. Just so you know, very good. Everybody looks excellent in this new calm flambled camera. And see, look, now you can see yourself. Hmm. Hmm. Isn't that just wonderful? Not bad. Outside, nice looking sunset. Did you watch the vlog from last time when we were in the McDonald's talk about our terrible McDonald's? No. But you need to watch that and you can see if this is better looking footage. I don't know if it is or not. I can't see. Okay, are you going to promise I'm going to upload that? Because it was really bad. Man, that does look pretty bright. This is 10 times better than that other camera. Hey guys, what's up? Summer here. Doing a little bit of vlogging on the nice camera. See you later. I mean, I don't know. The colors look pretty good. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's kind of bright. We got our new lights in. They're uh, it's a little brighter in here. Um, Summer's not a big fan of it. Um, I don't know if I am either. It's just it's very bright. We'll try it for a while. But we might switch back to the yellow ones. Summer says it feels like it's an office in here. I mean, I mean, it definitely does look a lot brighter, which could be a good thing. So, well, but we'll, we'll at least we can try it for a while and see how it works. Okay. And if it turns out that. It's just really bright. I need to stop looking at this screen. If it turns up that it's really bright and it's just, it just doesn't work well, then we'll switch back to what we had. And then we can move those lights either to um, the one above the sink because it's still pretty dull, um, or I can just use them. How's the low light? Pretty good. Use them in here. See, in here they don't seem near as bright. Like, maybe because the walls are so dark, but. I mean, granted, I just turned them on, but they're relatively instant on, and they're the same temperature, 5,000 Kelvin, but they just seem like there's not as bright in here. But I think the wall is soaking some of that light, but um, I'm just watching the camera and uh, watching the quality. I look a little overexposed. I might have to take the exposure down a little bit or lower the ISO amount. It's just in auto right now, but I just love just trying this camera out. It's awesome. Everybody, I got a rant coming on you right now. Do not ever buy Walmart whatever general crapo brand LED ball or fluorescent bulbs like these are flickering I literally put these in like an hour and a half ago if that and I already have one that's dead I'm pretty sure wherever the other box went there was one in there that wasn't working completely right and whenever we got them originally the other ones we had one that didn't work right and they're just junk and they say they last for years, but if they don't even last for an hour, how are they supposed to last for years? Getting on that root beer float grind, everybody. Look at that. I think, do you think I got enough ice cream in there? Watch how good this is. Can I do this with one hand and get it on camera? Oh, yeah. Glorious. Even sizzling. Oh, got on the counter. Looking forward to this one. You guys remember how I said last night this light wasn't working? Well, this morning, it is working. Must have heard all my complaining. Well, you guys, 
Got a little more snow this morning. Not too much though, probably just like, I don't even know, an eighth of an inch, if that. Just enough to dust everything up, but it's not frozen underneath, which is good. So that means no problems getting to work. I guess a thumbs up. This is uh, the end of this vlog. <laughs> okay. I hope if I could turn the lights on. We are getting ready to go to our tuna. Summer uh, set about going out to eat since we have a coupon or a gift card for eating. So we're probably going to go to the Olive Garden, which is always a good choice. Um, then tonight we're going to come back, we're going to live stream, and then we are going to watch Gold Rush. That's the plan. So we'll see how it goes. Um, the weather's not bad outside, but of course our driveway is not that great, so it's got done salting it. But uh, let me know what you guys think about the comparison between old camera footage and new camera footage because it's definitely going to be different. I have no idea what the mic's going to be like, uh, but I guess we're about to find out. And so thank you all so much for watching. Huge thanks to you guys for being more engaged on the last couple of vlogs, more comments, more likes, um, up to 99 subscribers. That's awesome. Maybe this new camera will push us to over 100 um, and it's all worth it. Uh, but make sure you also follow me on my social links are down in the description below live stream tonight Probably around 8 p.m. Depending on what time I get back um, But I'll be tweeting about it that way, you know for sure And so thank you guys again so much for watching got to edit this vlog. We'll see you guys in the next one